Hello, dear children. Welcome to Superior English. This is Simi Kaur bringing forth before you some beneficial tips to score great marks in your English board exams. Children, you have worked hard. Now is the time to work smart. So gear up and follow these smart tips to score good marks. Because Delhi University or any other university for that matter will always ask you for your English percentage in your best of four or five, whether you're going to pursue a BA, BSc or a BCom. So the first tip goes like this, children, you have to see the paper from the examiner's point of view. The examiner has got a big bundle to correct and has only three to four minutes for each paper. So make sure you grab the examiner's attention. So write your answers precise, to the point and compact. Suppose the question in section C is of three marks. Please answer it in not more than one paragraph or approximately 50 words. A six marker question should be answered in 150 to 200 words. Please follow the word limit. It is very important. Another important point is that please underline the punch words, the critical words, the code words or the words or lines that matter. For example, in section C literature, a question came like this. Rat trap peddler is a victim of circumstances. Justify. Five marks. So the answer goes like this. The rat trap peddler was a woe begone man poor, hungry and desolate, who was shunned by one and all. His hunger and poverty drove him to steal 30 kronos from the old crofter and that is why he refused the invitation to go to the Iron Master's house for the fear of being caught. But the attitude of Edla Wilmanson, daughter of the Iron Master, changed his approach towards life and people. Her affectionate request of inviting the peddler for Christmas, her speaking on his behalf to her father, her giving him a gift and lavish meal on Christmas, her elevating him to the status of a captain moved him so much that he returned the stolen money, thanked the young girl and became a changed man. Now in this answer children, please underline the punch words with black ink. Now, what are the punch words here? Wo be gone, poor, hungry, desolate, steal, approach, affectionate, gift, lavish, elevating. These are the punch words. And when you underline these words, the examiner will have an impression that you know the answer effectively. Second point, children write the answers in sequence in an orderly way. For example, if you have started from section C, then make sure you finish all those questions first and then plunge into another section. Otherwise, you will end up in irritating the examiner who have to look back and forth to see the marks the question contains. And of course, this won't be good for you. So the bottom line would be to finish one section first and then move on to another section. Children, English is more of mannerism, sophistication and discipline. So why not apply this trait while writing your English paper also? So please go ahead. Third point. Now in section B, you will be tested for your writing skill wherein you have debate, speech, report, letter, article. Here, you can use proverbs, quotations, sayings befitting the question. For example, there was a debate to write about Is e-retailing really a smooth way of marketing? In which against the motion was a line The e-retailer puts an attractive Picture of an object on the site, 
but the customer is disappointed to receive a different object altogether so the proverb of or saying which can be written here would be all that glitters is not gold then looks can be deceptive these proverbs or sayings can be fitted here and i'm sure they're going to fetch you more marks this section will check your writing skill so please use your, your use your vocabulary and extra knowledge to get more marks fourth point as you know presentation is the word for scoring marks so please leave a line or two after each answer underline keywords with a black pen i repeat fifth point confidence calmness and poise please insert them in your cell and practice them in the examination hall now if the question is a little twisted don't panic maintain your cool you will be able to answer the question for example take a look at these two questions one what is the sadness the poet refers to in the poem keeping quiet two keeping quiet does not advocate total inactivity or death explain what does the poem advocate now children you should not get confused on these questions because the answer to both the question is absolutely same so here lies the need to use your intellect logic reasoning and above all your calmness and composure it would be better children the sixth point it would be better children if you do the comprehension part section a the reading part first because initially you will have time at hand you can read contemplate and answer the question precisely and to the point which is very important for you regarding that particular part and this part is very scoring so proceed ahead and answer comprehension part first before proceeding to the section b and section c the seventh point in section c literature we always have the reference to the context of the poem now here children remember to read the poems line by line and understand its meaning for this my videos in superior english will prove to be the need of the hour do watch them so children these are the few important tips which i wanted to give you apart from that drink lots of water do indulge in exercise invoke the blessings of the divine eat right and sleep enough please do not do the last minute cramming this will do more harm than good take enough sleep before the exam and as i said be confident that you can do it i pray you come out with flying colors thank you